Hello everyone, back again doing a walking video, and I'm going to cover some wrestling news and whatnot. I've been kind of listening to some, some, some stuff here, if I don't st st stutter. Anywho, I'm trying to talk too fast like usual. A lot's been going on in wrestling right now. So right now, a couple things going on with the SmackDown show. Right now, it's uh, after 8 o'clock. Uh, Eastern time, so SmackDown's on, and the first thing not on screen that's real big going on would be they had three releases that we know of is Baron Corbin, Tegan Knox, and Andy Hartwell, or uh, no longer with WWE for whether that comes out to be releases, like they just fired them, or they want it out of their contracts, or or what happened. So, I'm not really surprised. Really, all three of them were doing little to nothing. Um, so, I mean, if you're fans of any of those three, you can pretty much blame Triple H like usual because he's always behind all that kind of stuff. You know, he, uh, he pumps them up. He had them all in NXT. And he all showed different times where he wanted to do this, that, or the other with them. And then didn't do it. So, you know, that's just how I look at it. He, he only pushes his real top favorites and whatnot. If you're not a, you know, you're not a Kevin Owens or a Sami Zayn or a Gunther, you know, one of those type guys, then you're not going to get, you're not going to get too much, frankly. And that's just how Triple H does. So, don't you, don't you just love it? So, I mean, I, I think all of them have quite a bit of value somewhere in some way in wrestling, whether they're, you know, they could be, um, they could learn how to be commentators or ring announcers or backstage hosts or, uh, or wrestlers still, of course, there's different things they could do, managers, valets, whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm not extremely surprised just because Triple H doesn't use his talent like he should. It's like, you only have them. For so long and then you just keep paying them and you don't do anything with them of course you know eventually you're gonna let them go that's just how i look at it but it's just more of an indictment on triple h's booking i don't think baron corbin's been on a raw or smackdown this year that i know of the last thing i knew he was doing was he went to nxt and he fought like uh gable Stevenson, who's long since uh released from wwe as well and then he went back to football, I guess. Um, he was a college wrestler. But that's the last thing I remember hearing about him. I want to say that was at least three to six months ago, probably. Bare minimum. And it's kind of just par for the course, really. So, unfortunately, they won't be around anymore. We'll have to see what, what becomes of them next. So, all right. Uh, from what I see on SmackDown, they open the show with Nia Jax basically bragging about being the world champion, and she's talking about how she's going to beat Liv Morgan at Crown Jewel in Saudi Arabia for the other title, or not for her title, for the new title that they're doing. It's like a special prop trophy type thing more than anything is what it's looking like, instead of actually doing title for title in line, which I guess makes sense. It's not something I love, but I'm glad they didn't just do some random match. So, I'm cool with it, in a sense. And what's really nice is they didn't screw up with the women's money in the bank, and they kept it on Tiffany Stratton since she won it. Instead of making her lose it, and not just lose it, but fail a cash-in and lose it, like they did with CM Punk and Drew McIntyre. Yeah, I understand Drew McIntyre can easily just get a, a title match back, but why would you have him win it? Why wouldn't you have CM Punk come out and cost Drew McIntyre at Money in the Bank instead? That would make more sense to me. Because then he doesn't win the title. He never has the chance to win the Money in the Bank. That's an accolade that you could really mess him up. You could double mess him up there. You could mess him up from winning the Money in the Bank and cashing in. Instead of just one. But they wanted a little prop to do. And it's just ignorant booking. You know, I just feel like... I mean, 
we're going back to the last decade when they really properly booked money in the bank halfway decently, and they won't do it anymore. They'll have people cash in on the mid-card belts and or lose, and that's supposed to be your way in to win the world championship and so forth, especially someone who never got it. Like, I remember Edge was, one of, was the first one to do it. He never was world champion before then. And then he went on for like the next six, seven years, won a title like every once or twice a year. Made a whole career off that, really. You know, a whole singles career above the mid card by winning money in the bank and being one of the top heel, if not the top heel at certain times. Facing Undertaker at WrestleMania. Facing Randy Orton at WrestleMania. Facing John Cena in feuds. Um... You know, all these different things. Winning a Royal Rumble match. Really getting over on a bigger stage. I think they did a great job back then. Now they don't care to do any of that. And they don't care about the character development. So, yeah. That's what they're they're looking like there. I had to just go on a side rant. Because it just upsets me. Because there's no reason they did that. And then now they're kind of... They, have some, they had something they could have done. And just chose to blow it they blew it early why would you blow something early like that for no real reason because realistically there's n there is no real reason like there's what do you what are you really blowing with that oh cm punk and drew mcintyre have a feud going or whatever that's not really enough for me to say that they did the right thing i think it was just pretty ignorant so that's just my opinion there. And then so Tiffany Stratton's talking about how um, how she's going to cash in money in the bank against either Naya or Liv, whoever she wants to, more or less. Whether that be the winner or the loser of the match, or during the match, I suppose you could do. So I guess that kind of is cool. Have you kind of got that idea? You could go in a couple different directions. She could also kind of take the champion, the other championship or whatever, but I don't know if that really makes sense because she, spe she specified that she was taking one of the two world titles. So, okay. Um, from there, um, she was talking about how if she takes the title from lived does dominic mysterio go with her and the crowd was the crowd kind of oohed and awed about that that was kind of cool um so we'll have to see and then we had some people in the the chat on one of the videos that posted it it was some like you know non-wwe account that posts wwe content it probably doesn't last too long i tried up uploading it and i tried changing the speed and then i put the uh I put the bar up to block it, the speed bar, so it blocked everything but the audio really out, and it still went down in some places based on the title. Um, so yeah, that account also had the match of Liv Morgan versus Tiffany Stratton, so they did that before the pay-per-view as well, I reckon. Um, so... I don't know what happens there. I'm guessing some kind of interference or something. Um, yeah, in the group chat, or in the comment section, that's the word I'm thinking of. They were talking about how, what if Liv, um, not Liv, uh, Dominic Mysterio would turn on Liv Morgan, so to speak, and went with Tiffany Stratton. And in my opinion, I don't love it because they're trying to turn Tiffany Stratton face. So, if anything, you're going to turn from one person to the next. You're going to turn from Liv Morgan to Nia Jax. And you could have Dominic be a, a really low-down type person working for Nia Jax. Because that seems to make more sense to me. Um, so, yeah, it's one of those deals. It's like We'll see if they see that or if they want to do it. But it's not looking like 100% um, anyway. 
So I guess you need some context. If you're kind of familiar with some of the modern product and you hadn't heard, uh, Rhea Ripley actually is hurt again. Broke her, fractured her orbital bone, which is around the eye. So she was just out for that shoulder injury for a while. She came back, still hasn't won the title since she came back. They've been kind of just building that feud up with uh, Liv Morgan and have to see what they're doing. And I've already heard one person say, oh, she's going to come back and win the Royal Rumble. Well, one, I think that's just ridiculous. I think that's that would be completely unnecessary. You already have a, a made match. You, I mean... Don't draw it out just to do that match at WrestleMania or whatever. I think this whole Tiffany Stratton thing could work wonders. She could have... She could take Liv Morgan's belt. And then she could be on Raw. Because really, taking Nia's belt, is, I don't know, it's not really going to do much for me. I, I don't see what they do with that inherently. I think that you could have the Royal Rumble winner, whoever that is, uh, maybe like a Raquel, that, that could work, uh, could go after uh, Nia Jax, this is one of the only people that's kind of realistic enough that could, could kind of do it, so, I don't know, we'll have to, we'll have to see, you know, that's, that's what I'm thinking, so, um, let's see, what are we talking about here? So I ran into people, I'm outside around society. And they're all freaking out because they're out in the dark doing God knows what. Um, yeah, because I think Raquel, even though she's not really built up recently, she's one of the biggest women on the roster that could theoretically go after a Nia Jax. Or you could do something else. You could, you could really do a lot of different options. But if you're building to a WrestleMania match, a Royal Rumble win, you're going to want somebody that people know. I think a very a very possible option if she doesn't come back sooner would be Charlotte to come back. Because everybody knows who she is. She could easily win the Royal Rumble. She doesn't need it at all. Once again, she could do the whole John Cena route. And I could see Triple H going, oh, yes, this works so great. 15 years ago, let's do it again. It's like, all right, it's it's not necessary. It really isn't. Like I said, I I think you can easily do get the same thing out of just having Charlotte come back. But I think she'll be back uh, probably before WrestleMania. She'll probably get a match. She might be in one of the title matches. We don't know. Or you could have... Uh, something with Jade Cargill and uh, Bianca Belair. If they want to do that for WrestleMania, either they face each other or one of them faces Charlotte. There, there's some options there. Maybe a triple threat. You know, there's there's options. I mean, Becky Lynch has been off TV and Liv 